Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Bargain of the Week. How's it going? You staying cool? Okay, because... <laughs> you guys, I am of English, Northern European heritage. Um, I like it cold. I mean, not cold, cold. But I don't like... After 85 degrees, it's rough. It's rough. Okay, I do hope you're well. It's heat is scary. Cold is, extreme temperatures are scary. All right, back to business. Bargain of the week, hello, welcome. If you found me because of this series, thanks so much. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free, look around, subscribe. You know, uh, it's free. <laughs> It's a free service. I just found this recently at Target. It's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula, hemp oil. Normally, I'm like, <sighs> no, <laughs> you know. Um, Jergens makes a body oil. A lot of times oils are, I love them, and mineral oil I'm fine with, but I know that a lot of folks don't like it. So what captured my attention was I read the label and it is just, it's a cannabis sativa seed oil, which is hemp oil. I'm gonna get my glasses for this. My glasses are filthy, <laughs> okay. Well, what's in this is the sunflower seed oil, moringa oil, hemp oil. Hemp oil is third, as far as I can tell. Then we've got cocoa seed butter, coconut oil, there is a little bit of fragrance. Um, it is, oh, family owned and operated. It is plant-based and no animal ingredients or testing. And I'm like, great. So it's a nice body oil if you want something different than a lotion or maybe as well as, and it feels so good. It's not a dry oil, but it just goes on very nicely like maybe after your self tan has developed, maybe after you've been in the sun, um, got a little more exposure than you wanted, it's very soothing. Maybe you wanna use it as um, massage oil, you know, if you just wanna like uh, rub your husband's, he can rub your back. I don't know if you can see it. It has a, just kind of a slight spa scent. Um, so it's not for the face, but I really, you know, after you shave your legs, you want kind of a nice oil. Uh, it's nice. I, I guess you can't really see it on me, can you? No, whatever. Okay, um, but I do like it. And then a skincare item that I was, um, I actually purchased the, hang on, I need a towel. My hands are now really greasy. This, I actually purchased this, but they did send me some other products, which I am very much enjoying. And this is the brand, BB, this is a one of those brands at Target that, and they have their own website too, if you don't have a Target uh, in your area. But um, they have really good skincare, affordable, it's kind of like boutique skincare, but at the drugstore, and so it's kind of exciting. I purchased this because it's their Bucuchiol Booster and it's 100% natural certified vegan and cruelty free, which is great. This is a half ounce. I use this at night. I think their purple products are all for like nighttime. And basically all this is, is a mixture of, it's 1% Bucuchiol, which is a retinol alternative. So if you're sensitive and you can't use retinol or tretinoins, you can probably use the Bucuchiol, Bucuchiol. And it has squalane, which is derived from olives because we want squalane to be plant-based, not shark-based. So um, it is just a beautiful product. It is a dropper. It has no fragrance. It has no essential oils. And it is, I'm smelling it anyway, even though it has no fragrance. And it's just a great, you know, something you want to put on um, before as a last step for your nighttime routine. I think you could use it during the day. It's a small enough percentage of um, Bacucciol. You're not going to totally make your skin sun sensitive, but do wear sunscreen. And it is just a beautiful 
product if you want to kind of simplify things, give yourself some anti-aging benefits, which that's what that is. It's an antioxidant. And uh, yeah, and then of course with the squalane, if you have, oh gosh, if you have dry skin, it's so nice. And we have our fans, we have AC, but our bedroom gets hot. So at night we still turn on a fan and I wake up. Sometimes I can just feel my face feel so dry because of all the fans and I'm like, what is going on? So anyway, it's just nice to have a little bit of oil on and it's very, it's just a beautiful product and I love it. And I'm really excited about a lot of the line. There's a couple items I can't use because maybe they have a fragrance or like a lavender, but there's some items that are really nice and I will dive into it more for you so you can find out what my favorites are, but this is definitely one of them. And then I had to include Catrice's primer, or not primer, the setting spray, but it is called Prime and Fine. This is the Dewy Glow Fixing Spray, and I've talked about this before, but I had to bring it back because I love this product. I wish it didn't have fragrance. It's pretty mild. Since it's a setting spray, it's your last thing on your face. It's not gonna, it's not like on your skin as much as like a moisturizer or a foundation. So you're probably gonna be okay. If you don't care about fragrance, <laughs> lucky you. What I love about this product is if you're looking for a dewy setting spray, a spray that just gives your skin that like whoa, glow, this is it. This is it. Um, okay, it's got like a little bit of something in it. You shake it up. The sprayer on this is really nice. It's a small bottle. It's only one ounce, 1 1.6 ounces, but so it's good for travel. So, okay, here we go. Ready? And I like to spray my neck and chest too. Of course, I'm wearing a necklace. Try not to spray your jewelry with setting spray or hairspray. It's not good for it. So I don't know if you can tell, but not only does this do a good job of keeping the makeup uh, to wear well, it just really gives a dewy glow. They're, the finish on this is extraordinary. I love it. So it's not glittery. It's not, uh, there's no sparkle in it. It's just dew. It's a sheen. It's, it's a Martin Sheen. It's a, it's a Martin Sheen. Yeah, I have a little bit of texture right here. I don't know what happened to my face. I'm trying to remember what I used there that, anyway. Oh, and then last, okay, you guys, I'm wearing it and I'm gonna put in a little video so you can see me. But this dress is from Walmart and Risa does makeup, put it on her Instagram story. It was so cute. It's from the juniors department. It's $14. It's ruched. It's like elastic. It's like a little bodycon dress. It goes all the way past my knee. Like, yeah, it goes just below my knee. Has like these little ruffles, you know? It's like, it's like a cake. It's got tears. <laughs> and um, it's all ruched and this is elastic. I'm definitely not wearing a bra because that's skinny, I mean, tiny titty me, right? Is that offensive? I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, but it's got this adjustable little spaghetti straps. It's so comfortable. I got the size medium, which is a, I think dress size seven, nine. I am usually a size four. So, but I was like kind of freaking out. I'm like mm, juniors and I don't think this is gonna fit. And you know what? I could go down a size. I could, because it's so stretchy. It's polyester. I It comes in like a mint green and a pink. Definitely sizes and colors are kind of running out fast because I think that people just realize how cute it is. It's But it's like you wouldn't, I would never know to buy it. I would never buy it just seeing it hanging. But looking at it, it's so cute. I'm, I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope this was fun. I'll put all the links below and like I said, subscribe, help a sister out. I would appreciate it. I'm not going to say sister. Are you kidding me? Help a mama out. I'm 40, almost 49 years old. I don't need to be a sister. I can. I'm signing off. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.